Test, test, one, two. Waiting for the live stream. It says you're live. Okay, right. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add text background in HitFilm 4 Express. Intro. Okay, no intro. All right. This is a continuation from the from the previous tutorial, tutorial number one, about creating titles. So as you can see here, there is a red rectangle background behind the text. Okay, this is what I mean by text background. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to create the text with outline and shadows, but not the background yet. So I'm going to show you how to create the rectangle background. First, let me remove the title and then bring everything back, bring everything back to normal. Okay, I'm going to composite track. In the last tutorial, we learned how to create composite short track and creating a title. Okay, I'm going to remove this track here so that we can start afresh. I'm going to remove this one. Okay, so this is where we finished off in the last tutorial, creating text and hit film for Express. We created a new composite short timeline and then we brought it in to put over our video clip on uh, track 2, the track above the main video clip and we get the title here okay we can always it's not very readable now we can always add shadows and or outline so that you can read the text but in this tutorial we're gonna add a background so let's begin first we go into the to the composite shot one click on new layer Last, in the last tutorial, we created text by creating a new text layer. This time, we create a new plane layer. Okay, click on plane. And now we get a plane properties box. Just say OK. And then if you notice in the timeline, you get a new plane 1 track. And if you look up here in the viewer, you get a whole piece of black rectangle. Now hold any of the of the corners with a little circle and resize resize it. Okay, select it. Resize. Let me check it. Okay, I should be holding this. Okay, click on to the click. Make sure the selection tool is selected, and then hold any of the corners to resize it. Okay, you can resize. I'm trying to resize to fit my text. Okay, and if you notice, it's covering the text. I want the text to cover to go over the rectangle instead of the rectangle over the text. So. What we have to do is to go into the timeline and just drag the plane below the text. Whatever is on top covers whatever is below. And now go back to the viewer and adjust the rectangle. Okay, maybe I'll put it right in the middle. Like that. So now I want to change the color from black to red. But before that, let's take a look and our overall picture. Go back to editor in the timeline. There, so it looks like this. Okay. Somehow it's shifted a little. Let me shift it back. Now I want to change the black background to red. So how do we do that? Let's go back into our composite shot timeline. And then on the plane track, right click on it, 
go to properties remember we saw this one at the beginning when we created the plane now there you go we change the color over here I click on it okay I can select many different ways of changing color but let's do it the default way we have red here and click OK and then one more time OK there you go now we have a red rectangle behind the text when you go back to the editor this is what we have okay so if you think this video is of value to you click the thumbs up share with some people who need it and also if you want more of such videos remember to subscribe one more time subscribe or anywhere okay i may put the, may put the subscribe button in any part of the screen and um, this is adrian lee from videolane.com signing off